Representative Pinto, thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you. Can you share a little bit about yourself, your home life, and your professional life? Sure. Um, so I am from the Highland Park and Mac Groveland area of St. Paul. Um, I have um, my wife, Abby, works at the Carlson School of Management. I've got a couple kids, a couple boys in elementary school. And uh, I'm a prosecutor of domestic violence and sex trafficking with Ramsey County. Um, I've been there for a number of years. Why did you decide to run for state representative? It felt like a really great way to use my skills to improve my community, which is really important to me. Um, I care a lot about making sure that kids um, especially get off to a really great start in life. And, um, and this felt like, uh, felt like a really good way for me to, to do that work and uh, put my skills to use. What legislative issues are you going to make your priority this session? Well, there's so much to learn just, just being here. Um, and so, uh, but as I mentioned, um, getting kids off to a great start is a, is a particularly important um, point for me. And so that really means kind of from the earliest years all the way on through. Um, and so I feel like that's a, that's a particular focus is to be a champion for kids, um, especially make sure they get off to a great start. Can you tell me a little bit more about your district? Yeah, sure. So um, Highland Park and Matt Groveland, I think probably a lot of folks who were at the Capitol are pretty familiar with southwest part of St. Paul, but represented for the past 18 years by Michael Paymar, um, who really made a, a great mark here. I think many people uh, know him. And uh, it's a great community and people who really care a lot about the state as a whole, um, not just our neighborhood and St. Paul, but really um, making sure to uh, take care of folks and all the whole state around. What book or movie have you recently read or seen would you recommend and why? It's, uh, uh, it's been a while, but in, the, in a debate that I had earlier this year, there's a question about a book that, uh, that, that folks might recommend that people in the Capitol and the legislators of both parties might want to read if there was a legislative book club. And the book I said then, I think, is the one I'll say now, too, which is To Kill a Mockingbird, um, uh, both the book and the movie, because I feel like it has some, some really great themes um, having to do with, uh, with justice and class and um, and uh, in society, and um, I think it's pretty terrific. And if folks have not read it or seen the movie, which I hope that they have, but if they haven't, I definitely recommend that they, that they do that. Thanks for joining us for this interview. Thank you.